Welcome to the spoken tutorial on download and installation of VLAPS. In this tutorial, we will learn about Chem Collective website, about Chem Collective online interface, download and run VLAPS on Windows 10 and Mac OS X version 10.10.5. About download and run VLAPS on Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04. To record this tutorial, I am using Chem Collective VLAPS version 2.1.0-3D, Mac OS X version 10.10.5, Windows 10, Java version 1.8, Firefox browser 61.0.1, a working internet connection. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of high school chemistry. We need Java runtime environment to run VLAPS offline version. To install Java, please use the link shown below. Let us begin. Open your default web browser. In the address bar, type http colon slash slash chemcollective.org and press enter. Chem Collective page opens. Chem Collective website has online resources for teaching and learning chemistry. The website has a collection of virtual labs, scenario based learning activities, tutorials, and concept tests. More information is given here. On the right panel, we have quick links for virtual lab, mixed reception game. Stoichiometry Tutorials, News, and What's New. On the left panel, we have two headings. Resources by Topic and Resources by Type. Under Resources by Topic, we have links for various topics. I will click on Stoichiometry link. Under Stoichiometry Resource Topic, we have the following subtopics. I will click on the mole, molarity and density. A list of available activities for this topic open up. Scroll down the list. The list contains autograded virtual labs, scenario based activities, simulations, tutorials and virtual labs. Similarly, for each topic, various activities are available. You can explore the activities as per your requirement. Now we will move on to Resources by Type. Under Resources by Type, we have the following resources. Now I will click on Resource Type Tutorials link. Tutorials page opens for the following topics. Click on Stoichiometry drop-down link. Then click on the topic, the mole. A new page opens with a video tutorial for the selected topic. The mole is one of the central concepts of stoichiometry. We will see it come up time and time again. The mole is defined as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd items. A mole of water molecules, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules, is about the amount in a small test tube of water. The mole is a useful quantity for counting molecules. Scroll down the page to see practice questions for the same topic. On the left panel, we have links for tutorials under stoichiometry topic. Click on back arrow button to go to the previous page. Now I will click on virtual labs resources type link. A new page opens with a list of virtual labs on various topics. Let us click on stoichiometry drop down link. A list of experiments under stoichiometry open. On the right side of every experiment, we have Get Info and Go Links. Click on Get Info link for glucose dilution problem. A new page opens. This page has 
download assignment, download offline version and go to activity links. Below the links, we see the description about how to perform the experiment. Then there is a table with various details. Click on the Go to Activity link to open the online virtual lab interface. Glucose Dilution Problem Virtual Lab HTML5 based version of the virtual lab opens. Here we can perform the experiment if we are connected to internet. Click on the link Introductory Video and Support Information. Chem Collective HTML Virtual Lab page opens in a new tab. Please read the information below to help you get started. Welcome to the new Chem Collective Virtual Laboratory. This version is HTML5 based and will run on most devices. The Stockroom Explorer is shown on the left with menus in the problem name in the upper panels. Clicking on the problem name displays information about this activity. In the Stockroom Explorer, use the tabs at the top to select between reagents, glassware, and tools. This video explains how to use VLAB's online HTML5 version. Now we will see how to download Chem Collective Virtual Labs for offline use. Click on Glucose Dilution Problem Info page. In the page, click on Download Offline Version. Download the Virtual Lab page opens. For Windows download, two versions are available. First is for English and second is for International Languages. The available languages are listed here. Here is the link to download Virtual Labs for Mac OS X. Scroll up to Windows section. Click on Download Virtual Lab for Windows button. A dialog box prompting to save the file opens. Select Save File Radio button. Click on OK button. VLAB.2.1.0 zip file downloads to Downloads folder. Right click on the VLAB2.1.0 zip file. Select Extract All. Extract Compressed Zip Folders dialog box opens. Click on Extract button at the bottom to extract its contents. Double click on the extracted VLAB 2.1.0 folder. You can see a list of files in the folder. From the list of files, double click on VLAB.exe file. VLAB's interface opens. To download and run VLABs on Ubuntu Linux OS, download the VLAB.jar file from the link given below. VLAB.jar file is available in Download Virtual Labs for Windows and Download Virtual Labs for Mac. Run VLABs on Ubuntu Linux machines using one of the two methods given below. Method 1. Right click on VLAB.jar file and open with OpenJDK Java Runtime. Method 2. Open the terminal and navigate to the VLAB 2.1.0 folder. At the prompt, type java space hyphen jar space vlab dot jar. If java is not installed properly, method 1 is not appropriate. Use method 2 if method 1 fails. To download vlabs in Mac OS X, click on the download virtual lab for Mac button. A dialog box prompting to save file opens. Select Save File Radio button. Then click OK button. Save As dialog box opens. Retain the default name of the file and click on Save button. VLAB.2.1.0.zip file downloads to Downloads folder. Double click on the zip file to extract the folder VLAB2.1.0. Double click on VLAB 2.1.0 folder to see its contents. In the folder, double click on VLAB.jar file. A dialog box appears. In the box, click on Open button. 
Chem Collective Virtual Labs interface opens. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about Chem Collective website, about Chem Collective online interface, download and run VLabs on Windows 10 and Mac OS X version 10.10.5, about download and run VLabs on Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04. As an assignment, download and install Chem Collective VLabs on your personal computer. Explore the interface. Another assignment. Open Chem Collective homepage in any web browser. Explore the following resource types. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This tutorial is contributed by Madhuri Ganpati and Snehlata Kaliyappan from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.